Hi there, my name is James. Uh, I run the hydraulics department here at Orient Express Racing Team. Here in the hydraulics department, obviously uh, we work with hydraulics. For anybody that doesn't know, it's essentially moving oil from A to B. In a really simplistic term, we have a big tank of oil on the boat and we distribute that all over the boat from you know, the bow to the stern. So it goes into hoses and pipes and then these manifolds as you can see on the bench behind me they control where it goes. It's pretty critical in terms of uh, the boat systems, especially on the AC75. The manifolds are almost like the heart of the system. There's, there's not much you can do on the boat if the hydraulics stop working. The hydraulic system is like the beating heart of the yacht and, and it's essential that, that the system is, is, uh, is well maintained. The oil is very clean. So when, whenever we do work on the system, we, we, all, we take many precautions, just like a surgeon would in, during an operation. There's not really um, much on the boat that doesn't use hydraulics in order to operate, from steering the boat, from trimming the boat, uh, moving sails, uh, moving foils, moving flaps, everything. When you look back at the old boats, the version 5s, you know, you've got loads of grinders, you've got you know, winches all over the deck, you've got sheets on the deck and everything's done you know, in the pit with ropes and stuff. We've kind of moved past that now. Um, over the last 10, 20 years, hydraulics has gotten a lot lighter, certainly, and uh, basically it's a lot more efficient. You can get more precise measurements. You know, if you want to move something 100 mil, you can move it 100 mil. Where with rope, you've got the stretch and you've got, you know, different elements to take into account. Hydraulics is very much more specific and controlled and accurate. That's one of the main reasons, but also um, the reaction. Like if you're moving hydraulics around at high pressures, you can get very fine movements very quick, uh, which you just can't get with ropes anymore. As it's essential that we have high performance on the water, we, we can't do this without hydraulics. So whether we look at the America's Cup or whether we look at 100 foot maxi class yachts, the power to weight ratio of hydraulics is so high that we don't really have any other option. To be part of the hydraulics department, there we kind of have a number of different roles. We have some more technician type roles, which is uh, some people say spinning spanners. Then we have hydraulic engineers, which kind of um, they go through the schematics and the villain materials and make sure we're all up to date, make sure everything is correct from flow, flow rates to pressures throughout the boat. get uh, to where I am today, it all started back when I was 16. Um, I'd never sailed before, I fell in love with it instantly when I did. It made me uh, take the opportunity and the, uh, the step to study in Southampton where I studied naval architecture and did a master's in yacht and small craft design. I met Owen back in 2008, I think it was. We both studied naval architecture and we both had uh, Janice Barton, I think as a tutor, so uh, we met through there. James and I sailed and, and skied together a lot. We were in class every day, so joining James at the team has is, is brought back a lot of good memories from that time, and it's, it's almost like we're students again. Our paths separated for a few years, and they joined back together, working on a 100-footer in the, in the med in between ocean races. I was in Saint-Tropez, at the Voile de Saint-Tropez. I had a quick catch-up with James. He asked me what, what I had planned and what was next for me, and, and I, I said, well, actually, I'm going to go skiing for the winter. He said, no, you don't want to do that. I think you want to, you want to come to Barcelona and, and, and give me a hand. So he really invited me. And his question was, can you give me a hand? And can you help me? And, and, that's, uh, and the answer was yes, of course. We are quite a small team in comparison to some of the other larger teams. But being part of a small team, you have to know and you get to do everything. You know, working on the 40, working on the 75, you know, one day it's building the tent, you know, it's, you're not so um, shoehorned or focused on a particular and specific role in the team. Um, you get to do a bit of everything. There's a great energy here. When you take a closer look, you realize that it's, it's a new team built on very, uh, very long-standing friendships and working relationships. You understand that, that many, many people here have a huge amount of respect and trust and experience with working with others in, in different projects. So being a small team means that we have to rely on each other and we have to help and support each other. So that opportunity to help help our teammates is, is really helps bring people together and makes for a stronger team and a, a much better team spirit. Yeah.